The International Ski and Snowboard Federation officially gave Killington Resort the go-ahead to hold the World Cup this weekend. The three-day celebration will mark the mountain's eighth time playing host. While a lot of people are excited about one name in particular, there is a lot more. ABC 22's Jordan Barber reports. I'm here at Killington Resort where staff are getting ready for a weekend full of events for the Steeple Cup. You can see the snow machines are going off behind me here uh, to get the slopes ready. Uh, but yeah, they're assembling seating and tents all to prepare for the full weekend ahead. Now with an official green light from the International Ski and Snowboard Federation, the staff at Killington is working to put the final touches on the World Cup racing trails. We are still making some snow on the Superstar Trail for this weekend. We'll continue to pack that down and get the trail ready for the athletes. Amy Laramie, Killington's Vice President of Events and Brand Marketing, says the skiing celebration will kick off with a ceremony for the athletes, a festival village with local vendors, and music from DJ Ross One. The races will begin on Saturday and will be followed by award ceremonies and live performances by artists Matt Quinn, Fitz and the Tantrums, and Eve Six. A portion of all ticket sales will go towards the Killington World Cup Foundation, which provides grants to support winter sports in the Northeast. Can't wait. Every year it's like Christmas morning coming to this event. Um, I get so excited. Laramie says she thinks there'll be a record turnout, as many expect to see acclaimed skier Michaela Schifrin receive her 100th World Cup win. This is certainly the case for high school student Ben Brown, who says he'll be there rooting for her. His advice to the skier? Have fun and ski fast. A triumph at Killington would make Schifrin the third skier in the World Cup's 57-year history to break 100 wins. Celebratory events, including fireworks, will start on Friday. Tickets are still available, according to Killington staff, and you can find that on our website, mychamplainvalley.com. Reporting from Killington, Jordan Barber, ABC 22 News.